for you, Star Fox. Welcome to episode four. So, we're finally taking on Andros. You know that I control the galaxy. Bullshit. It's foolish to come against me. from the explosion! So should I have been shouting Miyamoto like Chugga Conroy does? Takao Shimizu. 
What you looking at? Takae Imamura. Oh yeah. Kuzwaki Morita. Koji Gondo, Hajimi Wakai. The sound composer. Does that include music or what? Yoji Inagaki. Yoshiki Harahuna. Hana. Well. And here we are. Back at. Cornaria. Victorious! Yasuhisa Yamamura Takujiyon. I didn't read the last name. Yasuke Tsujimura. Yasuyuki Oyagi. Are those like the national colors of Corneria? Greedy bastards have all the damn colors. Except for 50 shades of gray. Shigeki Yoshida. Takemitsu Kuzuhara. Mitsuhiro Takano, the scriptwriter. Who is fun? Starbucks, we are in your debt. I would be honored to have you as part of the Cornerian. Oh no, sir. We prefer doing things our own way. Great Fox is ready to go. That was quick. It's time for us to go now. <laughs> Only Peppy nods. You know, it's kind of sad to think that this was the last game to really have Peppy and an Arwing. He wasn't in it in Star Fox Adventures or Star Fox Assault. Well, actually, I'm wrong. This was, well, it was the last game, but then he appears in the R-Wing in uh, Star Fox Command. Wonder... See, he was just being such a big baby between then. Or between then and then, if that makes sense. Such a big baby. Oh no, I have traumatic memories in the R-Wing. Still pretty respectful though. And of course, Slippy is trailing behind like always because he sucks as a pilot. I wonder what's the point of that. With them running across like that. Toodles.